Hi guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and having a great week so far. So it is a scorcher in England this week. Yes, we have got summer back with a vengeance and it is really, really hot. It's good to see the good weather back actually. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a vlog um, of a new release, um, but I didn't get it on the day of release and I did that on purpose. So I'll explain that in a minute. Different backdrop for me. At the moment, I'm doing a, I've been doing a restoration of an old bookcase, um, and I'm going to do a vlog about that um, at another stage. So I've got all my Lego Speed Champions behind it, and I'm just doing some tweaking to the background. If you're on my Instagram account, you'll probably see a few pictures of it on there. Um, but back to today's vlog. So yes, I picked up one of this week's big releases, if you want to say it, and this was Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the HMV exclusive steelbook. Um, there was another film released this week as well. Um, in a steel book, and that was Kong versus Godzilla, or Godzilla versus Kong, the new empire. I, I can't remember which way around it goes. Please don't correct me. I'm not really too worried about it. Um, I didn't see it in a cinema. Um, I do want to see it, but I thought to myself, do you know what? If I keep ordering stuff on pre-releases and going to get them on day of release, I'm never going to get out the habit of the routine of buying things. Um, so I left it. I'll, I'll get it maybe later on during the week. I might not even get it till, um, for a couple of weeks. We'll see how it goes. But so today's vlog is going to be the unboxing of HMB's exclusive Ghostbusters, um, The Frozen Empire. And then I'm going to do a quick ranking. Yes, I said ranking, Jay. Don't you dare say anything different. Of uh, the Ghostbusters movies. So we're going to start off. Let me just show you this one first. So that's the J card. That's the J card on the front. And I had to take this off because with these paper J cards, this sticky stuff uh, does cause issues sometimes. So I must say... Um, when I've got it, I do actually like the artwork on there. So that's the artwork of the front. And that's the artwork of the back. And they've got the feel of the film quite nice. Um, there you go. That's it all opened up. See it? Just zoom in there. A bit more for you. And then inside, we've got two discs. So we've got your 4K, which would be your region 3 as always. Put that over there. And then we've got your Blu-ray, which is Region B, actually. It says it on there, Region B. I remember I used to always say the regions, and then I stopped doing it for quite a while. Um, and then you've got the artwork on the inside. So actually, I do quite like the artwork. I do quite like the artwork on it. As for the film itself, yeah, it was all right. It lost the charm of the first one, um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. It didn't have that charm in there. And I think they brought back too many of the original characters from the original Ghostbusters back in the 80s. Um, and I don't know if that was to try and save the film or not. I think with the British comedian in there, and I didn't quite get his role in the film either. But anyway, you know, that's just my opinion. And say, um, my opinion doesn't matter. Um, it only matters to me. Um, so, yeah, it, I just, yeah, it, it wasn't, I didn't, didn't think it was the best. Uh, maybe because Ghostbusters Legacy was so good, in my opinion. I thought that was, what a way to bring back a franchise I thought that was absolutely spot on but yeah maybe you know most of the characters have grown up in this film now and it just lost a little bit of its charm but anyway on to the ranking why not do it whilst we're here so we're going to start in a reverse order as usual um <laughs> there's no there's no real um surprise uh, that yes the Ghostbusters release from god was it when was this released about 10 years ago now or something was it yeah, it, it just didn't work for me. They they tried to change everything. Um, yeah, it, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. So that was Ghostbusters. Um, then we're going to go to... I had to have a little think about this. I had to have a little think about this. Yeah, for me, um, it's actually going to be Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, number four. Yeah, um, as I said, it, it lost its charm of the first one. I think that was because the first one, I was so surprised at how great it was, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, this one, when I saw it in the cinema... Yeah, I was very underwhelmed. Oh, yeah, they brought back a lot of the characters, as I said, from the original film. I, I don't know whether that was to try and save it or to add something to it. And I said, you, the British comedian was in there and I, I just didn't get his role at all in the film, which was a shame because I actually quite like his wit. Um, but yeah, the, yeah, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is in at number four. Um, in at number three is going to be Ghostbusters 2. Yes, um, enjoyed this one when it first came out actually i wasn't too keen on it and it grew on me over a period of time i'm hoping maybe ghostbusters frozen empire grows on me but i'm not too sure but yeah so ghostbusters 2 um enjoyed that when it came out um you had all the crew back in there and this this was good fun actually it was always going to be tough after ghostbusters let's be honest it always is going to be tough but they did a good job now in at number two 
This could go either way. This one could depend on what day of the week it is or what mood I'm in. But I'm going to go for, actually, I'm going to go for Ghostbusters. Yeah, I'm going to go for Ghostbusters. This was, when it first came out, I mean, I must have seen this in the cinema, I think about three or four times. Saw this so many times in the cinema. Really, really enjoyed it. Actually, is it number two? Oh, I don't know. It, both, both of these could be number one and number two. Actually, solid. Let's do it like this. Bang. So in at number one and in at number two, depending on what day of the week it is, um, is Ghostbusters Afterlife and the original Ghostbusters. So when this first came out, it was absolutely fantastic. The soundtrack, um, you know, who are you going to call Ghostbusters? That, that, the soundtrack was absolutely unbelievable to this and it was perfect for the 80s. Then we've got Number one or number two? As I said, number one, number two. I, I don't know which. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide between both of these. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, when a franchise comes back, in my opinion, most of the franchises that try to reinvent themselves aren't good. Um, and they lose that quality that the original had. However, in my opinion, this one hit the nail on the head. Um, everything about it, the storyline, the characters, the humour. The humour in there was spot on. Um, yeah, everything, everything was fantastic in this film. So literally, yeah, you could say number one, number two, or you might say number one, number two. I don't know, which is, which is it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I can't decide. But literally these numbers are one and two, and I'll let you guys work that out, whichever you prefer. Um, but yeah, so that was the quick ranking. Behave, um, Jay. And um, yeah, so that was it. So guys, I'm going to do another vlog. I still haven't done my vlog on Temptation yet, um, but I'm going to be doing another vlog on... FOMO. Yeah, I'm going to do another vlog on FOMO because I, it doesn't really bother me now that I'm missing out. I don't have that fear anymore. Um, and it this was a, this, this proved it today. Like I didn't do the pre-order. I haven't done any pre-orders um, for a couple of films, actually. So, yeah, so hopefully I've broke that spell. Anyway, listen, guys, take care. Stay safe. Any questions, let me know. Um, and I'll see you on my next vlog, which hopefully will be in a couple of days. I need to get back onto my channel because the longer I leave it by not doing things, it, it will start to go down um, and then it'll be like dying a slow death, so to speak. So, yeah, so I will be back on it, probably back to my normal backdrop. But anyway, listen, guys, take care, stay safe and enjoy the good weather if you're in the UK, because it's going to last whole Saturday, I do believe. But you never know. Anyway, take care. See you, pals.